Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. I just wanted to take a look to see if we needed any other classes. We we don't. If there was a bounty hunter in here, I'd be stoked. We probably don't need one, two, three, three. We probably don't need three grave robbers. I think we can afford to maybe fire one of these grave robbers. I haven't upgraded this guy, right? And he sucks at the ruins. Okay, you are gone. Um, and we could afford to take either another plague doctor or another occultist. But we had those are our two go-to guys, Bear and Nick. I guess we'll hire the better one just for now. Second win gets plus ten percent damage. Has the runs, lower HP and lower dodge. That seems terrible. Guilty conscience, unerring, plus ten percent damage. But uh, guilty conscience doesn't seem to carry any combat penalties. To fight the abyss. Might carry penalties in the future. Know. Anyway, for now, embark. Let's see what we've got out here. We've still got the option to kill the Necromancer Apprentice. I don't want to do... Maybe the next time the A-Team's available, because it says it's a level 1 mission, and we have a bunch of level 2 units, except for Kate, but she's close. Um, that's a level 3. That's a level 5. We only have one level 1 mission left. It's short, though. Beat back the creatures and bandits that endanger traffic on the old road. Now, there's a lot of poison that happens here. Um, it's a shame we don't have a Plague Doctor, actually, to deal with that. But let's go with uh, our B team. And our B team consists of Alpaca Patrol, occupying probably the third slot. Our Vessel, who may smash. Judgment does the self heal. Unfortunately, they only have the party heal, which freaking sucks. So you're going to be in the third slot and largely use that, um, that Judgment attack. Illumination doesn't do... It's a ranged attack... Low, it debuffs them. That sucks. You actually suck as a vessel. Um, Mathis 2.0 is going to occupy this spot. I think we have to put our leper in the first slot. Torn rotator cuff. Minus 5% damage is not that bad. Good speed, good crit. Compensates for it enough. Alright, who are you going to be then? Um, why don't you be... Who else do we know? That comes... You're going to be Quill 18. Sorry, Quill. I didn't mean to make you a leper. But... You're gonna be you're gonna be taking all the shots here, man. You're gonna be the vanguard for the whole group, okay? Good luck. We can't actually unlock any extra abilities for our unit, I I think. If we take actually maybe if we take them to the guild. Let me look at this. We got the spare gold. If we take them to the guild, can we unlock uh Divine Grace? Yes, we can. So we will do so. Uh and do we really want to invest eighteen hundred into a level zero unit? Maybe not, but Dazzling Light does give them a stun from the back, so... Basically, I'm doing this because I can. Uh, that's gonna become Dazzling Light, and Illumination is gonna become the self-heal. The party heal is basically a last-ditch effort in case people find themselves in a terrible position. Does this change? Oh, it does change their priority based on the abilities that you have selected. That's really cool. So you can actually spec into, like, a high-damage... Uh, like a like a frontline sitting unit, I think here. Maybe not. Close though. Um, do we want? We don't want Mace Bash because they're going to be in the number three position. So we got a, a self heal, dazzling light for a stun, divine grace, and divine comfort. We might want to replace divine comfort with the Mace Bash just in case they get moved a little bit. Then they'll at least have some melee attack. But, you know, let's just put the onus on them to move and keep the party heal in case we have a lot of people that are in a terrible position. I think that's going to be the proper way to handle this. And hopefully we have... No, okay, we need to redo it here. All right, so you're going to become at the back. Rob's going to be in the number three spot. I think, yeah, he, he likes being in the number three spot here. That's fine. Uh, he'll be there. And then Mathis 2.0. And then it was uh, Quill 18. So we need a name for our uh, healer here at the back. Be let's put Rob's girlfriend in here. This can be Malls. There you go. And then they'll be out on a mission together. Oh, isn't that cute? They're right next door to one another. All right, we're going on the short mission. Let's provide for ourselves. We're going to take, if it's a short mission, probably okay with less than 12 torches, but we'll take 12. I'll take, uh, I'll take 12 food. Because we're going to the uh, the Weald, or whatever it's called, it's like a forest, but it has a lot of poison stuff. I'm going to take uh, two Anti-Venoms just to be safe, and we'll take one Shovel. Uh, I think that's basically all we need to take. Let's embark. Little worried. 
I don't know if I've done one here in the series before. I've done a couple here outside of the series. So what do we have to do again? Complete 100% of room battles. It's a pretty good room or series of room layouts. Why are you already stressed? How are you... Quill, you haven't done anything. You shouldn't be stressed out yet. All right, Mathis 2.0 did manage to get us some loot, so I'm not going to make any comments. We also picked up some holy water. Might be able to use that to purify some traps or something. What's up with this shit? This is, we need a shovel for this, right? Nature herself. This is why we brought the shovel, and we actually clicked on the right thing there. Malformed. You're debuffed because of what? Why are you debuffed? Maybe you're just really bad in this area or something. I don't know. That's weird. All right, our first encounter. No surprises. Eldritch pull. Mortality That's bad. Clarified in a single Mathis is still okay back here. Our leper should still be decent. So you're gonna chop or hew. Chop, six to 13 damage. Hew, oh, it does two damage, or two hits. Three to seven. They're human and eldritch. Do these have bonuses against eldritch? I don't think so. You could self heal. Um, considering Mathis will probably do a pistol shot, I think we should just go for the highest possible damage. And that's pretty good. The pistol shot will be focused, like rather than doing this, the pistol shot will be focused on the unit at the back. Oh, it only did three. That is a huge disappointment. Groping swipe. Two damage, that's nothing to be mad about. The cultist acolyte is so fucking close to death. I'm so disappointed that that didn't work out. Groping swipe uh, hurts a little bit. We're gonna go not for the heal, but for the um, judgment on this unit, which will also heal us by one if it hits. The percentage of hitting, two thirds. I'm willing to take that chance. I hate everything. We can make do with this party composition, like this layout, even though I'd rather not. Yeah, we're gonna go for the, the chop again. Lucky us. And now uh, some AoEs might be a little bit more viable. Like Grape Shot should hit two units, so we might as well... Wow, she dodged again. What's her dodge? 13 versus like zero. What are my dodges? Two. All right, so I can understand, I guess, how that unit is able to dodge so much. Um, this unit, we have a stun. We have a ranged stun. Dazzling Light. Does a decent amount of damage as well. That should prevent us from taking any damage at all over the course of the rest of this fight. And uh, we might as well do it again. It does a good enough amount of damage that I don't mind throwing that out every single turn. Pick to the face times two. And despite the fact that we got uh, completely pulled around there, no big deal. And we picked up a bandage, which I'm a big fan of. And this is the way that we want to get it going here. All right. We don't need to use a torch, I'd say. We're still above that first threshold. We do have an encounter. Hopefully we get a surprise. Oh, that's so good. We should be able to kill them all before they can do anything. Grape shot. No kills, but that's okay. Three hits. Then Hugh should get these two. Oh, you fucked it. You fucked it up. Flashing daggers will pick up a couple kills. Lower stress a little bit. And uh, you know what? Rather than go for this... Let's go for the stun. Why stun the, the other unit? Like, we could have... Uh, it makes sense to stun that unit, actually, because if we killed the other one, what does it matter? Uh, grape Shot again might get the kills here. Oh, you suck. Mathis 2.0, you're terrible. Mathis 1. You'll never replace Mathis 1.0! Thank you for resisting the uh, light. Go for the stun, dog. I don't care. Rather than go for the heal. Maybe we should have just gone for a basic attack there, but whatever. Okay, we'll have Rob... Pick to the face. I like having Rob in the third spot here because his melee attack is not insignificant. Those are actually some pretty valuable, uh, monetarily speaking, gems there. So we got this thing. Pristine Fountain. Let's try to use holy water on it. The hero consecrates the fountain. Fountain. Finally something to smile about. Maybe like, did that lower stress or something? I don't know, man. This is, you gotta experiment. Ooh, what is that jelly skeleton? Ectoplasm. We get to go first, thankfully. Um, it's got a huge resist. I think we should probably try to kill that first. I don't want to see what its special ability is. Uh, we're going to have to just do a basic attack here. Thankfully, it got the kill. I appreciate that. Go for the... Go for the stun. I, I'm glad it killed it. I didn't want to see what it had on offer, which the stun was just like a double protect against that. Two damage. The uh, 
The Leopard typically has like 0% chance of dodging. Wicked Slice there working out pretty well. B team's tearing it up so far. I mean, it's been pretty easy, but I appreciate it nonetheless. All right, we're going to torch up because the stress is existing here. Um, let's just try it. Stashed heirlooms. We got a portrait. Okay. What about this thing? What the heck is this thing? Eerie spider web. Let's use a torch on it. That item had no effect. You know what? Fuck off then, eerie spider web. I'm not touching your shit. Complete 100% of room battles. All right. Oh, what are these guys? Fungal artillery. Anything artillery needs to be taken out as soon as possible. I'll, I'll admit, you know, the grape shot is kind of tempting here. But usually you got to take out the units at the back. But what is this damage? Four to nine versus three to seven times three with a higher percentage chance of hitting. My first instincts might not have been the wrong ones. Oh, that is a terrible groping swipe. All right. Rob will probably be doing pick to the face. Uh, actually, I don't know. We might wound these two instead. Because we've already kind of committed to, to AoE attacks rather than focusing. And I think this is actually working out fairly well. I think we'll go for the chop on this guy. Knock him out of the equation. Now we can actually hit all three of those units at the same time. Escape Cloud. That scares the shit out of me. They're both blighted. We'll use Anti-Venom on one of them. <clears throat> Alright, so we got blighted again. Um, Let's go for the stun. And we'll stu try to stun um, this artillery. I can't believe that he couldn't hit the unit that was slightly behind it. That does kind of suck. Alright, you're blighted. Uh, I know how to cure blight, by the way. We will do so. I'm going to hew. Didn't quite get the kill. I think we just go for the... Um, I think we just go for the kill here. But if we're going to go for the kill, uh, it doesn't really matter if we go for the stun. We, and we don't have to heal ourselves because she's already at full HP. Kind of a weird situation. It's a shame we couldn't stun that unit just because of the way the order worked. Hey, let me guess. I'm going to get blighted again. Yeah. So it didn't end up saving us anything. Oh, you're like super blighted. Yeah, okay, we'll take care of that. Um, Probably a wicked slice here. I wish that had finished the job. Flashing daggers is terrible. Pick to the face, should get a kill. Barely, but it did get a kill. All right, fungal artillery. We gotta stun you. I actually really like, I, I'm really happy that, oh, you, you got um resistant to it, but I'm really happy that we chose to spec the, the other skills here for uh, our healer. If we hadn't done that, we probably would have ended up in a terrible position. Our vessel would have been a lot worse. We've already completed this mission. Uh, it's kind of tempting to leave, but we're doing pretty well. We got a lot of food left over. You know, why, why not, right? Contents of the chest are ours. Good. Also, this would be a really short episode if I just finished it out. I didn't expect that all of the room battles would be done three rooms in. Hmm. I'm not scared. Mummified remains. Maybe a torch? No effect. That's all right. Let's open it up. You can do it, Mathis. He becomes diseased. He resisted the blight, though. I like how it says, should have known better. You're probably right. Now, uh, you know, set fire to this beast carcass. It had no effect. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Just, like, eat it instead or something. It's distraught by the sight of the carcass. Do you know how many carcasses you've created? You became afraid of animals? Monster type beast minus 20% stress resist. Uh, honestly, it seems like it could be worse, but still. You're going to get blighted and stressed out. I mean, people are probably saying finish the mission. You know, this way you just get free money. You don't have to worry about the stress. But I want to, you know, like, I want to get some more treasure. We'll go at least one more room. We can always eat our extra food to make it happen. You know what? That's going to cause us a lot of stress to get rid of this because we only took one shovel, right? Yeah, so we'll just leave. I don't want to do any more than that in that situation. So we got a decent amount of gold. But one that must be fought. About 6,000 gold. Decent amount of heirlooms. Let's see what we earned here. Uh, Alpaca Patrol hit level 2. Mathis got... He's a stress eater, and he's hard-skinned. Probably not a fair trade. 
Ruins Explorer, plus 20% scouting chance in the ruins for Rob, and Amateur Armor Smith, lower armor uh, improvement cost. Very short mission, but it worked in out. K2.0 lost a thousand gold after being letter. overcome with emotion and donating generously. But then she prayed and recovered 69 stress. Fair. I engaged in pleasures of the flesh and recovered 81 stress. Nick recovered a 55 stress. Bear recovered 56 stress. And we got some level upgrades. That seems pretty okay. Um, we have 8,000 gold. Malls could do with some stress relief. Oh, she's really bad in the first round. I didn't realize. Obsessed with self-worship. Well, you know what? I'm going to throw you in the abbey for some really cheap stress relief. 850 is not too bad. And you could become one of our go-to healers along with Bear. Um... Apart from that, I'd like to upgrade our units a little bit more, if that's at all possible. Could we also upgrade our our blacksmith themselves? No, we need more deeds. Oh, we can upgrade the furnace. Reduces the cost of weapon and armor upgrades by 10%. That's actually pretty useful. I appreciate that. Could we upgrade our, our guild? No, we need more portraits. Not many more, but more portraits. Okay. Um... Well, let's look at the A-team here again. We got Kate. She's already leveled a couple of things up. Barbaric Yop, what does it change? It just did more crit chance, right? Like, it's got a 1% mod to crit. The attack does slightly more damage. But the debuff's the same. Considering I only use these two abilities, what does it matter? We could buy a new ability. Iron Swan. Allows you to hit the enemies at the back. That might be more useful than if it bleeds. What about this one? That's a, a buff. It cures blight or bleed. That's pretty good. Or bleed out. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this one and we'll upgrade it. And then we'll uh, go here and we'll take off if it bleeds and we'll put on Iron Swan. Let's throw myself in there. See if I can upgrade myself. I don't. We don't need to upgrade Bulwark of Faith. Stunning Blow is a stun, but we've got some decent stuns coming out anyway. Um, Rob, have you been upgraded at all? I think I've upgraded, like, Flashing Dagger. Who cares? You've become a pretty integral part of my strategy here. I have upgraded some of your stuff. Okay. Throne Dagger, Shadow Fade. I don't like those that much. So I don't think you're missing out too much here. I really only use those two attacks. I mostly just use Pick to the Face. And it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, we have another Crusader. We have two of everything else. We should really use our Jester at some point. Maybe get rid of one of our highwaymen. Um, what about... Okay, let's look at this. Two, one, two, two. Nick should probably have his uh, shit upgraded at the blacksmith. He does use incision fairly often. How much... Oh, he already did have it upgraded. What, oh, it's Bear. Bear hasn't had his stuff upgraded. Uh, he doesn't attack that often. But if he's going to be on the A-team, he should get it taken care of. Same with you, Rob. You're doing a lot of incising. Uh, everybody else... Uh, maybe Mathis. Mathis 2.0. We do need a good highwayman. I think that's all we really need for upgrades here. And honestly, I know this is going to be annoying, but even though this is a bit of a short episode, I think I'm going to call this one here. Thanks for watching. On the next mission, I think we're going to try to fight the Necromancer. Kill the Necromancer Apprentice. Like, can we do this with level 3s or level 2s? Like, is it going to say no? I hope it doesn't say no. That's the party selection we want. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll with it then. I mean, we could just do another medium mission, but I think we're better off maybe just going for this. I mean, every time we do this, doesn't the boss like level up or something every time that happens? Or maybe that's like the level cap that you can use or something like that. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared to fight the boss. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm thinking about it because if you, if you choose the wrong time, that seems very scary. Um... Well, let's let's do it. In any case, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with another one.